Yo, what's up? This is Patrick from Guy in the Cube. And in this video, I wanna talk about exporting data when you have role level security configured in your Power BI reports. Stay tuned. Okay, exporting data with role level security configured? What's wrong? It just works, right? Well, someone asked us a question. They were like, hey, I was testing out my role level security and it it appeared to export more data than I anticipated. Is it broken? Does it not work? Well, so we decided let's do a video. So you guys know what I like to do instead of all this talking, let's head over to my laptop. So what I've done is I've configured role level security on this report. And so if I go to modeling, it's really simple. It's really simple dynamic role level security. If I go to manage roles, I added an email address to the airline table so that when a certain person signs in, they'll only see the, see the airline they're assigned to. And so you can see it's simple, right? Email address equal user's principal name. And so whenever they sign in, it pulls their email address, matches it up, filters the airline table, and then filters any corresponding tables that has the appropriate relationship, right? And so I published this out to the service and I, I followed the steps. So then if you look at the report, that's configured, if I take a look at the data, I can see that in 2002, there were 3,165 claims, right? But I'm the administrator, I can see everything. And so the person said, well, I did a view as, I tested it out. So that's when I followed the steps, right? So what I did was I went into the workspace, went to the data set, went to security on the data set. So I went to the, found the data set, click the ellipsis and click security. And then I assign my test user to that role because I'm going to test this out, okay? Um, but before I did that, after I added that person, I test the role, right? So I can test the role that I configured. So I'm going to say test this role. And it's going to open up this report and you're going to say you're now viewing this report as airline controller. I intentionally left myself, only assigned myself to a few roles, uh, a few airlines, several airlines, but not all of them, right? So you can see the number is not 3,000 and something, it's 2,000. But what I wanna do, instead of viewing it as this role, I only I wanna view it as this role, but as this person, John Doe, the person I have configured, because that person only has access to one airline, Delta, okay? So we'll do John Doe, click apply, and remember, as me, it was 2,000 and something claims. As the administrator, it was 3,000 and something. But now as John Doe, in 2002, there's only 185 claims. That's, it. That's exactly what I expected. The problem came when he clicked on the ellipsis here and said export data. Before I export data, I wanna do one thing. I wanna visualize this as a table. Let's visualize this as a table. And it appears to be working here also. I'm like, all right, this is exciting. Maybe he missed a step. So I'm gonna go back to the report and then I'm gonna export this, right? So I'm viewing it as John Doe. I'm on this particular element. I can see that there's 185 claims. If I click the ellipsis and say export the data and I'll be really patient, I'm gonna choose the default. I'm gonna be really patient, doo -doo. all right? Here we go, it's, op it's done. I'm gonna open the file up and hmm, 2002, 3,165, he was right. So it appears as though all everything from a visual perspective works, but the export is not working. And so he was concerned, he was like, is it really working for my end user? So I continued my test, okay? Because I said, this has to work. I'm sure this has to work. Somebody would have reported it, okay? I, what I did was I opened up a new web browser in private, signed in as John Doe. So we'll go here. You can see I'm signed in as John Doe and I did the exact same thing, right? Now, as John Doe, I only see Delta, I only see data specific to Delta. Now, if I do my export, I'm just gonna export some data. We'll do the export, we'll wait again, very patiently for my big data. <laughs> right, now it's done, we'll open the file. Now we're seeing the actual numbers that we're expecting to see for John Doe. All right, so, all from a visual perspective, when you're testing the role, it works. When you export it, it takes the context of the administrator during the export. When you sign in as that person, everything works just as it's expected to work. Okay, what do you guys think? You got any questions, comments? Have you experienced this before? You know what to do. Let's continue the conversation where? In the comments below. If it's your first time visiting the Guy in the Cube channel, hit that subscribe button. If you like my video, big thumbs up. As always, from Adam and myself, 
Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.